Well, today I'm rebuilding the brake calipers on my Alfa Romeo Milano, the rear ones. I don't know what happened to these things, whether or not I drove with the parking brake on, or they seized and I kept driving, but there was whatever, whatever happened, it was just a complete meltdown, so I have to rebuild these calipers. Well, I'm doing this video to show what's inside of one of these calipers and there actually is quite a lot of stuff and uh it takes a long time to actually rebuild one of these it's a lot more uh, complex than just a regular old regular old caliper so i thought i'd explain how to get this thing apart well obviously you you got to split the halves apart these four bolts here too long too short it's obvious where they go actually they're really tight so make sure you get a pro proper uh, socket on there to uh, loosen it. From there you take the uh, dust boot off the adjuster, take off the little snap ring on the adjuster, crank out the adjuster, which is seen right here. That piston will come out. There's a little uh, o-ring on that adjuster, which you do get in the rebuild kit, or you should get in the rebuild kit anyway. That's one spot that these calipers tend to leak a lot. I didn't actually take the uh, the auto adjuster out of this out of these pistons because for some reason they were pretty reluctant to come out sometimes you can get them out pretty easy but this time they just wouldn't come out so I'm just not gonna test my luck and just leave it be clean it out really really well and then uh, it should be fine for a long time these two things there are what holds the uh, dust boots on the uh, pistons there's the inner piston and of course little bits in there too then the inner part of the caliper there's a little seal on the inner adjuster, which is another source for a lot of leaks on these, which you do get that O-ring in the kit as well. So snap ring, you gotta get that out. It's actually a little tough to get that out, to be honest. The little hat and the spring, then the whole thing comes right out. That little pin may or may not come out with it. That's the little pin that uh, is attached to the parking brake handle. That's why it's probably take that out and at minimum maybe just grease that. Um, Obviously you want to clean the insides of these the best you possibly can because, um, well mine anyway, but lots of them that I've seen are really grungy inside and that's like the last thing you want in the braking system is to have crap in there. So I went a little bit further than most people. I actually decided to take the handbrake lever off and the, actual, the inner adjuster as well. Um, to get the handbrake lever off, you just have to be a little bit mean. You basically just take a hammer and a drift and you smack it real hard and it breaks it off of that snap ring. Then you take from the other side to get the cap off. The cap is, oh, here's the cap. Cap's on the other side, which is where the snap ring will fall into when you smack that handle out. There's a little uh, seal behind there that's pretty, pretty much just keeps dust and dust out and the grease that's supposed to be in this section of the caliper in. So it doesn't actually seal any high pressure brake, brake fluid. There should never be brake fluid in that section of the caliper at all, ever. It's the same as this, this is the inner adjuster. There is no seal on that because there should never be brake fluid on that side of the caliper. If there is, that O-ring on the inner adjuster has failed. So that's why it's very important to replace that inner O-ring. Take the time to actually take that section out and repair that O-ring. So yeah, it is a little bit more involved of a, of a caliper rebuild than an average caliper. And it does take a long time to actually clean everything. Because there are so many little bits. But uh, the hope is um, that at the end of this, I'll have a caliper that works again and since I don't have much faith in rebuilt calipers anymore as I've gotten several that not of these but of other calipers in the past that have been crap right out of the box so by doing it myself I'm saving money and at least have the assurance that it was done properly